welcome back to our channel so I'm in a very very awkward position right now I am sitting in my vanity room but my vanity is so not ready to be featured at all right now I'm actually once I started bringing everything in decided I need to declutter and fast and a lot so that's gonna be a video on its own it is a flipping mess you guys absolutely crazy I'm if you notice me looking off that's what I'm looking at and it scares me there's so much stuff um, with this though I am going on a no buy I'm putting myself I'm grounding myself basically excuse me I have to move that I'm putting myself on a no buy um, I have over a hundred palettes you guys and probably over 40 like contouring bronzer palettes and whatnot and if you notice on my channel I use like the same like two or three that's ridiculous that means there is like freaking 90 some odd other eyeshadow palettes that are just sitting there um, waiting for their expire date and there is a bunch of bronzer contour palettes that are also doing the same thing so I I'm gonna stop wasting the thousands of dollars that I've spent on makeup and you know just really get to it's gonna be like Christmas again because I'll be opening these palettes it'll be like the first time again so I'm excited about that kind of I'm gonna miss not buying new makeup but you know it's we got to do it every once in a while we can't keep up the jump with the Joneses you guys um, stop trying to keep up with these youtubers like I said they get their shit for free we pay our coin for ours so just nah, nah. so anyway I've got a really fun video for you guys today you guys are, are gonna see the glow up basically um, I'm gonna be doing recreating my look from high school <laughs> this is gonna be interesting so I'm 32 years old so high school for me was <clears throat> 14 years ago and actually shit it was 15 years ago I graduated when I was 17 so 15 years ago you guys I graduated in 2003 some of my subscribers were barely born god that's sad that's really sad i just so aged myself but for all my people who are about my age and watching this this is going to take us back it's going to be really nostalgic and take us back to circa late 90s early 2000s when we were overly tanned using champagne colored eyeshadow from our lid to our eyebrow black eyeshadow that wasn't blended out at all um for me i had really really good skin back then believe it or not i know this is like whoa but back then before kids i had really really good skin so I never wore foundation or face makeup really um, I went and found a couple of pictures that I did have a little bit on and that was like my prom picture that I did my makeup in which I'll link for you guys here and that picture was with my best friend Heather and that was our senior prom um, I got caught having my tongue ring. We went and got our tongues pierced on the low low. And while I was shopping for my jewelry for my prom, um, my mom caught my tongue ring and my mom was pissed at me and didn't speak to me the rest of the day. So that picture was like our little rebellious, like, ha ha ha, uh, look at our tongue ring, which I ended up taking it out as soon as I graduated oh god oh my god I can't believe I even had that done so anyway I'm rambling now let's get into the look and I'll walk you through how I did all this nonsense all right guys see you in a sec all right you guys the time was 2003 Clovis 
California, out in the boonies, at Clovis East High School. Oh Lord. We were a brand new high school. I was the first graduating class there. And, oh my God. I look back and I just cringe at these pictures. I'm gonna bring my girls. If any of my girls are watching this, I'm about to bring it back right now. I'm about to get so time warped with you guys right now and bring it back. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I was saying, I didn't wear foundation back then. But what I did do is, if I did, wear a tinted moisturizer. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline Dream BB Fresh 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And like I said, I did not use any brushes whatsoever, sponges. So this is going on with my phalanges. Okay, so I'm gonna just dot this on my face. Oh my God. Yeah, this is, it already feels gross on my fingers. I hate, hate. I don't even remember when I stopped using um, my fingers and started using brushes. But I'm so glad that I did because this already feels so gross on my fingertips. I need to um, pull my hair back because I'm somebody I cannot stand having my hair even anywhere near any kind of foundation. So I'm just going to take my little hair clips and clip this back real quick while we get this sucker on. All right, so we're just gonna take our fingertips like I did back in the day and rub this in like lotion. But like I said, what I did is I used a tinted moisturizer, so I felt like I was taking care of my skincare and my skin, um, you know, wiping out the foundation all in one, you know? Oh my God, this is garbage, you guys. I cannot believe I used to use my fingers. No wonder I can, like the biggest reason I never used foundation is because it always looked so cakey on me. Well, gee, I wonder why when I'm using fingers to put it on. That is like the most full coverage way to put this stuff on. I had such better skin back then. So I am gonna add another layer just for 2017 Desiree because I'm not gonna look like myself back then with the skin that I have now. Okay. I didn't have any like pigmentation issues. My skin was like on point back then. I didn't have kids keeping me up all night, adult responsibilities and stress. You know, some people hated high school. I loved it. I had so much fun with my friends. Like, every day was like a party to me. <laughs> if I could go back, though, I would go back and study harder because before I went boy crazy, and started worrying more about my social life than school, I was actually a 4.0 student. And then once my social life became more important, my grades ended up slipping. So if I have any youngsters, my advice to you is please, please focus more on school than you do your friends and um, your social life and boys because half of those people are really, actually more than half, I'd say 99% of those people in high school are not going to be there, you know, when you're an adult or they're not even going to be there in college. Um, I have a very, very close circle of friends and I mean there's like five of us. 
that I'm still close with and still talk to from high school and that's about it. So literally all these people you think are your friends are not going to be there. So focus on school and not them. Stay in school. Don't be a fool. Okay, so because I didn't wear foundation, um, <clears throat> what I did do is I wore compact and I usually either wore my MAC um, pressed powder compact because it was full coverage. That was when I was doing cheer, like if I had um, um, to cheer at an event or a performance, I wore my MAC compact because it was really full coverage. But other than that, I used two different kinds of CoverGirl compacts. One is still around because I've seen it. It's like the sheer translucent one. And I used that just so I was, you know, wasn't shiny or anything. Um, and then the other one, if I wanted coverage, it was in this long oval blue compact. And it was actually, I want to say it was like a foundation um, powder and that one was the bomb I used that all the way until I had children and then once I had my children I also had grown-up money so I could buy higher-end makeup so um, I switched at that point but I don't have any of those three compacts are any more laying around so I'm just gonna go on the only compact I use or have is this Milani one um, all the rest of my powders are loose powders because I like the loose powder so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the little spongy that's in here and just apply it the way that I did which was all over. So since I was really, really tan and I'm not now, um, what I'm gonna do is just take some cheap ass bronzer. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild ticket to Brazil because Lord knows back then I couldn't afford a good bronzer. And even if I could, I don't even think I knew what a good bronzer was back then. So I'm gonna warm up my face because again, during most of my teen years, I fried my skin in the sun. So we're gonna give me some natural color. <laughs> natural. <laughs> I don't I still don't know what that natural word means. Now that I got a little color back in my skin, the one thing that I did do was I did wear blush every now and again. So that was probably like the only thing I had a brush for, I think, back then. That and like eyebrows. Other than that, um, I had no freaking brushes for anything. And I wore like these pinky, oh, you know what? I actually, hold on, one moment. I actually think I have the blush I used to wear by CoverGirl. One okay, moment. I'm probably gonna break out putting this on, but I actually found an old ass one deep buried in my stash of makeup. See, this is why I'm de-stashing, guys. I have old ass shit. This is probably like a few years ago old. Um, I rocked this little blush set by CoverGirl forever. It's called Instant Cheekbones, and it had like a darker like contour color um a blusher and a highlight before everybody knew what highlight was you guys or contouring and the only reason I, I learned contouring believe it or not at the age of 12 and the reason I learned was because I did modeling when I was a child and they taught us um like to do our own makeup at the place that I um that I modeled through and they um they taught me contouring and they basically taught me to draw a line down to almost my mouth with a gray shadow and then go over and blend that out and then to put on my blush and then a highlight. So I knew what contouring was back in like 1998, I want to say. 
1998 is when I learned how to contour. 97. Yeah, crazy, huh? And it's funny that con uh, contouring just became a thing now. But anyway, for the most part, I never really contoured a lot. I did as I got older, but um, I usually use this pink one right in the middle. So I'm going to scrape that off with my brushes. And I'm probably going to break out because this is ancient, you guys. So ancient. Well, same thing on the other side and just swept it up in like a C motion. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Of course though, my placement was probably not as good as now. And then if it was too dark for me because any color on my cheeks was too dark, then I took this and lightened it up at the top, the lighter one right there. As you can see, the highlight didn't get used a lot because back then having a matte face was like everything. Like you didn't want any shine on your face at all. That's, I mean, shimmer and everything is huge now, but it wasn't back then, let me tell you. As you guys can see, this is my eyebrow from like high school. It's a little bit darker because I don't have the, well, I do have the exact eyeshadow somewhere. I used a MAC brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows. And they were so, so thin, you guys, so thin. So I'm actually gonna use my brow gal um, to fill mine in. As you can see, they had this little part and this little thin hump right here. And I'm probably actually making them thicker than they actually were. Um, and they didn't go in all the way where they needed to. So there's this huge, like, two inch gap in between my eyebrows. It was like they were scared of each other and running away from each other. They didn't want to be near each other at all. This is like recreating this just makes me so grateful for YouTube and learning how to do my eyebrows better. Eyebrows are still one thing that I struggle with, but looking at old pictures of me, shit, I know I've come a long way. I definitely know I'm not as bad as I used to be, that's for sure. And by the way, I want to point out, <clears throat> in the pictures from high school, um, I let my friend pluck them once, really thin like that, and then they stayed like that. I never had to pluck my eyebrows again. And I actually didn't pluck my eyebrows. I still don't pluck my eyebrows now, you guys. I really don't need to. The only thing I do is I shave off the tail because I, you know, go in with a gel liner and I want to create a different arch than what I naturally have. I like a little bit more of a dramatic arch. So the only thing I do is I shave off this tail. Other than that, you guys, I haven't plucked my eyebrows in probably since before I had children. And that little bit that you saw before, that's all I have. That's all I got. So with that being said, I definitely want to get microblading done because I will never have eyebrows. So you guys, this is about what my eyebrows look like in high school. Let me see. Let me make sure they're semi-even. Even though they never were in high school, they had this weird shape right here and then this weird little arch right here and then they arch down. I don't know. They're hideous, but we're going to rock with it because... Oh, you know what? This I think this part's a little bit fatter than this one. Let's see here. Let me make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Now they kind of match. Kind of. I couldn't even tell you what shape this is. This is not a shape. That's all I know. This is not a shape. This is not what someone's eyebrows should look Guys, like. Now it's time for the fun part. This is where all my group of girls, the ones who kicked it with me, this is where you guys are gonna get a kick out of it. I wanna show you guys what I found in my stash. I was looking for old makeup, and I have it in this little bag that actually was supposed to be thrown out, um, but somehow got shoved underneath my cabinet. I don't know if any of my girls 
can see this. I know Natalie, my darling Natalie, if you're watching, I know you still own this. I know you still rock this. Um, this is Champagne by CoverGirl. This is the most pigmented eyeshadow CoverGirl makes. And I even bought, the reason I have this, this is actually not as old as you think. This is expired for sure, but it's probably about two years old. I bought it because I loved highlighting with it. And when highlighting became a trend, I bought it to highlight with, which is why it's so used. Um, but this is the shiniest, freaking most pigmented eyeshadow that CoverGirl has. And we took this from down here and covered our eyes in it like a base. Oh, and by the way, we didn't use primer, so we just caked it on. So let me see here. I know we didn't use brushes back then. We only used um, that little powder applicator, but I don't have any of those, so I'm gonna have to use a brush. But to be fair, semi-fair, what I am going to do is use this brush that kind of mirrors, it, it's just a packer brush, and it kind of mirrors one of those sponge tip ones, and I'm just going to go in hardcore, and what I would do is almost make it like a loose powder, go into it, and like scrape it, and I mean we pack this shit on. I did the whole raccoon eye. This was in all the early 2000s, you guys. Like, this was the shit. And I know so many girls who rock their shit like this. So, none of y'all better be making fun of me. Unless you're younger and you didn't rock yours like this, feel free to make fun of us. But the rest of y'all, I'm probably, especially my girls, I got pictures of you guys somewhere looking like this. I sure do. We went ham with the champagne eyeshadow. I remember my friend Heather was the one who introduced this to me. I want to say it was like in either early high school or junior high even. And it was over from there. Like, I was just obsessed. And this color is so funny because it looks so different on every freaking skin tone. And since all my friends are blonde haired, blue eyed white girls, and I'm the only one in the group that has any color to me um, because I'm half Hispanic, I'm the only one that it came out so silvery on. Everybody else, it kind of looked a little more beigey. It was still super shiny but it wasn't as bad on them as it was on me. Like it straight up looks silver on me, but didn't matter. Still put it all over. Oh my God, this takes me back. <sighs> what the fudge was I thinking, you guys? What was I thinking? This is so bad. And of course there was no blending anything out. We just packed it on. <laughs> I can't walk around like this. So next I took a black eyeshadow, which was also by CoverGirl. And I only bought the single shadows. Palettes weren't a super big thing back then, except if you got like the um, CoverGirl or Maybelline ones, but Maybelline's eyeshadows back then licked balls. Or if you um, Mac. I always bought MAC Single Shadows, but I used a black CoverGirl one. I don't have it, so I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution black, um, only because it's cheap and that's what Desiree back then could afford. Um, and I'm going to go in on a Packer one because, again, I used... There was no blending, you guys. I used a sponge tip applicator. Like, you know the ones we all throw away? That's what I used and packed it on like a pack rat. So, <laughs> and over the silver shadow on me, it came out looking blue, not black. It turned it blue. And what I would do is I would draw this triangle almost out and up into my crease. 
Oh my god, this is so bad. And I would just take it almost all the way in. This is so bad. Oh my god. So even though I was a cheerleader, you guys, I'm going to clue you on a little secret. I was a hardcore heavy metal chick. I was like a cheerleader on Friday nights, cheering at the games. And then I was, after that, going to shows, going to concerts, getting in mosh pits, beating the shit out of people, and getting my anger out. So I was definitely a special kind of cheerleader. I was definitely not like the rest of the girls. They would be on the cheer bus listening to like Michelle Branch and Britney Spears, who I do love Britney, but I was on the bus listening to Slipknot and Korn and Tool. Um, yeah, I was definitely different, that's for sure. And which is also where I think the darker makeup for me came in because I was like, I don't know, Little Miss Glam Rocker. And then when the, the black got a little too crazy for me, what I then did is went back over with the um, champagne and quote unquote cleaned it up because <laughs> there ain't nothing clean about it. Oh my God, this is so gnarly, you guys. I'm like embarrassed to put this up. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It wasn't blended, it wasn't good at all, you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, if any of my ex-boyfriends are watching, this is the Desiree that they'll remember. So then, then what I did is I took a black liner pencil. I didn't, uh, I tight lined, um, my eyes I didn't use a liquid liner or anything there was no winging it out all I did was tight line oops doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna go back over and put a thick ass line across my eyes I'm amazed that my mom let me leave the house looking like this though like I remember wearing like these red burgundy pleather pants, black wife beaters, and or a wife beater, and like these heel boots, and my hair just curled and big and blonde, because I did bleach my hair blonde throughout most of high school, and the pictures you guys saw with me with the brunette hair, that was just like the end of my junior and senior year. Actually, I think it was my senior year. Oh wait, no, right before prom is when I went brunette on my junior year, so it was the end. So like I said, <coughs> sorry, I'm breathing all hard. All <sighs> I like can't breathe out of my nose. I think I have a deviated septum or something but I can never breathe out of my nose, so I become a heavy mouth breather. But as you can see, I blackened my eyes on my own. This was like the look. There's no such thing, you guys, as using falsies back then. So I went in with like 39 coats of mascara, which I don't have any mascara that I used. We used the pink tube with the green top Maybelline um, Great Lash Mascara. So I went in with my first coat. Okay, so I went in with my first coat, waited for it to dry, then I'm gonna go in about four more coats. Um, like I said, I didn't even have lashes back then, so um, it's pretty much gonna be true to form now, even. And by the way, I did, actually when my hair was blonde I, and long, I did do my hair like this. I would like section it and like, 
um, pin it on top of my head right here and then it would just fall really pretty and then I would curl it and flip it out and it looked so cute. I wonder if I can find my junior um, yearbook picture because that is where my hair was actually styled just like that with this same exact makeup look. I'm gonna see if I can find it and post it for you guys so you guys can see. So now we're going in with coat number two. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave it at coat number two, you guys. I don't think I can do anymore. My eyes are gonna hate me. And my lashes that are finally growing, I don't want them to fall out. So we're gonna leave it at coat number two. Okay, so now for lipstick, um, there was no lipstick. I didn't wear lip lipstick we all wore lip gloss that's all we wore and I don't have it but we used to wear these lip smacker lip glosses um mine was about this color so I'm hoping like uh let's see here what color is this the infallible eight hour pro gloss and it doesn't have Oh, here it is, 405 Coral Sands. So this is close to what I wore in the Lip Smackers one. So I'm hoping that it translates the same. Uh, this one's a little more nudey and a little more thick than the one I used to wear. This is more like the um, MAC one that I used to wear. Sorry, I had a phone call come in. Um, I'm glad my mother never um, stopped me from expressing myself and letting me look the way I wanted. Even if she and I are estranged, I will always give props where props are due. And she did let me be a teenager in that sense and let me do crazy things to my hair and crazy things to my face. Um, the only thing she wasn't cool with was the piercings that I kept getting in my face so this is the final look i hope you guys dig it this was so fun actually to film this really took me back and it really makes me think about like so many good times i had with my girlfriends and just how fun high school was i had a blast i know it's like normally typical for people to be like I hated high school I would never do it again I would do it again a hundred times over because I had the best time of my life well not of my life because I'm having the best time of my life right now with my kids and hubby but with my girlfriends we had so much fun and nothing will ever top the times that we had um, I don't think anybody's high school experience will ever be as fun as ours was just saying but for real like we had a blast and even if we looked like little tramps so <laughs> I hope my girls that um, were with me got to see this and I hope you guys all dig it I will be back this week with some more fun tutorials for you guys don't follow this one this is what not to do you guys this is what not to do. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Bye, guys.